Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Australian Report for the 11th of May. Just wanted to show the S&P 500 here to start with today. Um, as you may be aware, we're seeing a strong sell-off in in US stocks. We're seeing, you know, two to, you know, well, Tesla is like nearly 7% down and so on. So there seems to be a bit of a turn in the, in the US markets and also a possible top as well for... Um, wave one, two, three, four, and five over here for this. We haven't seen it yet, you know, really destroy the structure or anything uh, here, um, but we will be looking for short trades here shortly. Um, but how's that going to reflect on our market? That's really the question uh, that we need to, um, to, to answer. So as I was, um, uh, just the ASX on the four hour chart, as, as we'd spoken before, um, we had wave three here and we had wave four here. I was never really happy with wave four being here because I could count five waves down here. But it's sort of very difficult to put wave four over here somewhere. Probably this would be the better space for it um, in terms of an A wave, a B wave and a C wave to, to here and possibly even a triangle pattern um, with an A, B, C, D and E and that could get us to this point here for this. Um, so I was looking, you know, at counting for sort of further up here but look, it, to, it may not be the case. Um, we just got to see how it goes today. But what I can say is that um, a strong move down through here, just sort of, you know, well, let's just say taking that trend line out here as just one example of many um, here, but, you know, a, a clear breach down here, that could put a, um, a top in place for for this market in terms of wave three here with an A and a B and a C and a D and an E or something like that. And then, you know, we have to put wave five in here. As I mentioned before, the 7,200 is the old high. And the thing is, is that um, when you get smaller markets like ours being pushed around by bigger indices and so on, um, then they never really sort of well, a lot of the time they don't really finish off the way that you would expect them to or would like them to, you know. So we just really got to be a bit careful here with this. So look, um, you know, this is a CFD product, this ASX uh, uh, product here. So it's got the futures market tied into it. We haven't seen a really strong move down here. Um, we've seen... Um, BHP, the ADX, uh, the ADR rather, um, in the United States, um, be positive, I think. Yeah, it's up, uh, 1.8%. So, um, you know, there's things holding it up. So, but I'm um, just to let you know that I'm a little bit sort of unsure and that we should be a little bit careful, uh, in this, in this regard. So. Um, just on the hourly chart here, we've got trades in, in through here. So we're just going to have to lift our stop up, um, here for this. So I'm just going to put the stop, um, up into the, um, closer to the, uh, 7100 here, not on the 7100. And we'll just see how this plays out because, uh, a move down through here would you know give us overlapping wave structures of this little wave one here and wave two here um i suppose it's okay isn't it one two three four five to that point so we've got one two three four five so we should see another move to the upside uh here but it's just a bit hard to imagine that after seeing seeing the u.s markets um as such so i'm just a little bit unsure folks um We'll just have to see how we go. We really want that 71 to hold there. That's why we'll have the stop it. Um, keep it, keep it a bit clear. Keep it, keep it out of the way, so to speak. Um, you know, keep it out of the way from, from that. We don't want to be taken out on the, on a little spike, but it does seem we've got a nice little A, B and C here, but this could be a third way, fourth and fifth and continue down from this point. Um, so let's just, uh, see it's 8 a.m. now. So the, um the the reset has just uh happened on this platform with probably many australian platforms um yeah so let's have a bit of a look around we'll start with the banks we'll start with uh 
A and Z because it's there. So this is the um, the daily chart here for A and Z. So I just thought we'd have a bit bigger of a picture look at this. So I was thinking um, from wave two here, we've got one, two, three, four, five for nice wave three here from wave two. So we can take that low there, place that there, and we're looking for a 38.2%. So it that may be the end of it here as an A and a B and a C right on the 38.2%. And we were looking at that on the tick chart. I think we should also have a look at the weekly as well. Um, so we had a few little counts uh, here for this, but um, yeah, that could be uh, in play here. It's a bit difficult to count five waves here. I can count one and two here. I don't know if that's three, four and five. So I don't know um, if there's going to be one more here to finish that off because I can't see it, you know what I mean? Um, but that's why we said we'll go long on the 28 if that's the case. So, yeah, as far as we can see here, the, the A wave over here, the B and the C wave here. Um, we'll just go back to the daily chart here. I just want to explain something else as well here. Um, I've got this here as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave up here. And the reason for that is because on the weekly we're in a larger triangle pattern. If I can just bring it over here. So we've got this top over here for wave three here. You can clearly see that we've got three waves here. And we've got clearly we've got, well, three waves over here, uh, a little bit trickier, but um, it's not it's not five waves. It's not one, two, three, four and five. I mean, because we're still in you know, above above here for that. So um, so I'm thinking that um, we'll need three waves here. So that's why I was thinking the A wave here, the B wave here and the C wave up up here. But we've still got one more little wave to go um, to finish that off. Maybe I've made a mistake in, in here. We'll soon know. Um, uh, and maybe this is all just the A wave here and we come back 61.8% and then have the D wave here and then the E wave here. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and then sort of head off in that direction. But uh, yeah, we're clearly in a triangle pattern across here that's gone on, you know, it's 2009 here, the GFC. So it's never really recovered. Well, that's when the US banking system broke and has never recovered from, you know, you see that in the repo market. So, you know, it's, um, that's the point that it had been broken, but still we're in this triangle pattern. I mean, the interesting thing about this really is that this triangle pattern here is a bullish corrective pattern. So um, we're going to see further upside eventually here. So yeah, anyway, I just thought that um, there's a good case for having a little ABC for the A wave here, the B wave here and the C wave coming up through to here, but we're one sh one wave short. Like I said, things don't always finish the way that we want them to. We'll see. Um, it's not that we're trapped in this trade at all uh this this market um don't have a position in here we i think we did trade it up through here so that was a bit of it i guess um i think even above 20 actually um anyway the combank having a look at that um That could actually go there too for that. I'll just bring that back over here. Anyway, I could, it was a little bit ugly to sort this out here, um, but uh, still looking at this as one and two here and going for third wave and a fourth and a fifth. So I don't think this is finished yet here for this. Coming up into that space. If I just go to the, I think it's, we'll just have a look on the monthly. I don't know, can't remember what I've done here. Yeah, well, this is what we're looking for here. I mean, it's great that it's taken the top of that B wave out here. Because it makes all of this, it, taking that top out here on the monthly makes this an A, B and C pattern here. So we should go further up here. And we could look at this as one and two in here, nice strong third wave here, fourth and fifth. So we should be 
Because this is an ABC pattern here, we should be taking that top out here. So CBA should end up at 100 up through here. Still, like I said, things don't always finish off the way that, that we said, uh, that, that we'd like them to. Um, so we need to hold our expectations in check and, uh, and um, manage our risk. Okay, over to the uh, resources. So iron ore uh, was up and it's hit. Um, it's up about 3% where it is at the moment. Um, it hit 1300, which is really quite an important number. Well, for me anyway, because it's the top of group one. So one, two, and three make up group one. So we can expect a bit of a dance across here. We could even expect the market to pull back to um, 1.2 here as well. So we're seeing, um, I don't think it's finished. I think I'm okay with the wave count. Sorry, I was just looking at these little guys in here, just checking all of this. Um, so I think that we can expect, look, there may be another high in here. I'd have to go into the tick chart, but we'd have to expect some sort of ABC pattern to come into play uh, here uh, before pushing up higher. And in the bigger picture, this has still got more to go as well. Um, so... Let's just go in and have a look at the other commodities, Quick, a quick look first. So crude oil, nothing to see here. It's still sticking to the 65 as it will for a while. Um, uh, we need to look at gold. Gold is still, um, st still pushing up a little bit. We're looking at this wave four here for this now. So we've been counting up. Need to double check that as well. Let me just double check that. That's not quite. Uh, hmm. I think that's got to go there, but back into this one, and that would leave that one, two, three, four, five, third wave, fourth wave. Sorry about that, and fifth wave. Maybe that is the fifth wave here. Still, um, we can also expect a correction here, and one of the reasons for that is we've got eighteen hundred here. Then we've got one, two, and three that make up group one. So it's trying to develop support on that. So that can uh, pull back to, I'll, need, I'll do more work on this when I do the gold chart, but it can pull back to to this point here. I mean, the other point too, will will gold uh, do the opposite of the um, of the markets? Well, that will probably depend on, on the yields and things like that. So we're expecting the yields to 10 year, uh, treasuries to push higher, um, so that will put place pressure on these guys. But we'll uh, we'll have a closer look at that. But this trend should still uh, continue to the upside. And um, copper. Okay, so we can look at that um, fifth wave to be put in here now for the third here, and we're in the fourth wave here so that could pull back 38.2 percent so we can take that from that low back up here that all oh, that brings us back that far well the way for one lesser degree is back here as well i suppose we could also look at that really as the arrival the reaction the first high above the level there as well when things get a bit parabolic they don't tend to come back to the fourth wave they come to the top of the third wave So we'll see more than that. That's, that's probably likely five waves here in some regard and you know, be something like that. So just be a bit, I'll take that away there for a moment because, oh, we can just bring that back over here, something like that. Should have a look at the Australian dollar based on that as well. So just the four hour chart here. Still worried about this one, this green wave one and two here. Looks more like a fourth wave. Oh, excuse me, and that needs to go there. 
to make that one, two, three, four, five. Um, let's just have a look on the hourly chart for this for a second. Just want to have a look at this. One, two, three, four, five. So that would make the third wave there. So that's correct. This will be the fourth wave. That will be 38.2%. So that will come down roughly to there. It may end up being something like this here, you know, what fourth waves are like. So we just need to be, give it a bit of, um, be a bit philosophical about it, but we should see it sort of shore up, uh, soon around here and get a rally we're not finishing this trend here so that's okay um so what else was there in terms of commodities, crude, golds, iron ore? It's one more thing, but anyway, I'll think about it. Um, Fortescue. So with Fortescue, we've still got further upside here. So that's really good for Rio and BHP and so on, because this move here is in three waves. I suppose we could look at this too as an A wave down here and a B wave back over here and then a C wave down here. That's also possible as well. I'm not ruling, can't, can't rule that out. Um, but the size of this was fine for the correction. Um, so, and we're chuffing along okay. Um, obviously at 25 here, um, we're going to, um, we're going to see some sort of correction, which will be this wave four here, that dance here for that. You know, I mean, sometimes things are really ugly. We probably could go one, two, three, four, and five up here, but I really don't think it's the case. This would be like more of a third wave. So we are like, it could gap open because iron ore was up, you know, or was it up? Yeah, it was up, wasn't it? It was up... Um, nearly 3%. So we'll probably see another little jump up uh, here, but be assured that we're going into corrective space now. Okay, so um, do what you need to do here. Um, yeah, let's take a little bit of profit here, shall we? So take a percentage up at this point i'll leave the stop here and we'll try and get up we'll, we'll allow the fourth wave to play out here and we'll get up to the fifth wave at least with um with this because i see in the bigger picture this is a 30 dollar stock so um so we'll go a little bit higher we'll take percentage here and we'll look to add back on at the right time over here you know but I'm going to take that away now because I don't want you getting in too early. We need to work through this problem. Well, it's not a problem. It's just the puzzle. Um, okay, so that's FMG. Rio won't be far behind. It was up 5%. Wow, that really helped give that little fifth wave a go, didn't it? So from here, we can go one, two, three, four, five to there. Then there's an extra little wave there. So that will compensate for that one. So all of that leg, that leg, third, fourth, fifth. That's not five waves here. We've still got extra waves here because that would be one and two and one and two. So we've got high to go up here for this. This will this will be higher up here. This will be around 134 or something. But what markets tend to do is that they tend to, um, you know, come back and test that support. If they, they can either react from the old, they can do lots that they can either get to the old high and drop and, and, you know, have a big drop or just 
no, the normal thing is for them to react here. But if they don't react here like this one here, then what you need to be prepared for is the distance, the distance, I'll do it over here, the distance above it goes, just as a rough rules, rule of thumb, will be the, the distance that goes below the level. Okay, so that will be the swing of it across this level. So be mindful um, of that. Um, however, that said, we've got 130 there, which we should just beef up a little bit. So I can, because that's a minor level, we can use sublevels now. So sublevels would be 31, 32 and 33. So finding, finding support, a tested support, on 33 would separate it being pulled back to 130 at that point. So that's something to look for there um, because that would just take it higher at that point. And BHP, BHP, where are you? There we go. It's up nicely. This is just the daily chart here. The reason I wanted to show the daily chart for is because um, I just, you know, this way five's not finished. <coughs> There's different ways of counting that, um, but um, a bit hard to count in here. We could count the BHP one. I can get five waves from here to here, and we'll, perhaps we'll have a look at that. But my main takeaway here is that I can see that wave one is big, right? Where normally wave three is big. I mean, with commodities, you would normally get the extension in the third wave no the fifth wave but i can see here that this is quite this is quite big here compared to this one to wave three here so maybe they're getting smaller so this one here then this one gets a bit smaller then this one gets a bit smaller still but even being smaller it's still too small you know let me just grab BHP in the US because it was an easy one to count. So what I did, I think I went somewhere, maybe the hourly or four hourly, I'll check. Yeah, this one. So just to let you know that just because I like to be conservative um, as one and two here and then one and two and three and four and nice five waves up for wave five and then wave four back, and then going up for wave five here. This is, it's a possible count, you know, um, and it's likely to spend some time at 80. It's likely to fold back. It doesn't mean that this count that I've just shown is correct. It could, it, we could be counting it um, a little bit differently as well. We could have this as wave one and two as well, and this is wave three here. But we have to acknowledge that 80, um, uh, is a major trading level, so we're highly likely to see some sort of corrective thing here. It is possible. It has made a little high above here, I think. So I'm just saying, um, not much. <laughs> I'm just saying, technically, we have five waves here. So it US BHP could be finished there. That means that Australian BHP could also be finished. It's just a bit harder to count the Australian BHP here because it's really messy here. I would have to go move into the guessing game and I'd only relate it back to this anyway. So, yeah, we need to be a little bit um, mindful um, of, of, of the top being in place there. I own BHP as well, but... Um, Australian BHP, um, but I'm not going to sell. Um, double tops to me are never the end of the uh, journey, so I'm um, going for the longer haul. But as a trader, then, well, you should be taking profit at a major level if you're a you know, short-term trader or trading CFDs and those sorts of things. So coming into Australian BHP at $50, if you were, you know, if you're a trader, then you need to be taking money at that at that fifty there. If you're still in there at the moment, then that's okay. Maybe use the robo method, the daily robo method to, um, which is on the website, 
just to um, to manage that trade unless you've got a better way to do it. But that US BH, the US BHP, we could count five waves up to that point. I just think this fifth wave is a bit too small. This fifth wave here is just a bit too small compared to the other two waves. Yes, I can see that the, this one's big and this one's getting smaller uh, and this one will be smaller still, but that small, it's possible. That's why you'll just need to be careful a bit with that. But um, yeah, when we go to the bigger picture, I don't know if it's on the monthly or something, can't recall, could be weekly, I'll just check. Um, Well, to me, this has just got further to go. It's just simple as that. Uh, the only other way I could see this is that um, is all of this being a big B wave up here. So an A wave down here, a B wave up here as an as an A and a B and a C wave finishing here, and then a C wave coming all the way down here. So if you think that that's on the cards, it's possible. Anything's possible. Um, we know the state of the the world with all the money printing and this and that. Um, you know, but anyway, I'll, I will just continue to track the, um, you know, the intraday here, and that will be able to give us, you know, the, the pieces of the puzzle that we need to verify, uh, s situations. Okay. Alrighty. Um, I'll leave it at that. I think I've covered what I'm supposed to cover in this. Um, uh, just the gold thing, the new crest. I'll just have a look at that for a moment. So new crest is going along okay. Um, I'll just go back to the bigger picture uh, here. Um, 200 daily chart. Maybe it's the um, weekly I've got to look at. Can't we go? Let's have a look. Right. I've got some skin in the game on this one now as well. We can count five waves down here as a C wave here, so we should end up higher. Um, yeah, we'll just hang in there with that, I think. I just can't find the chart that I wanted to look at. Maybe it was on my other charting program. That's not very helpful. Okay, so I'll leave that. But I'll, all I need to do is start pulling apart this structure in, in here for this. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.